Jefferson County Circuit Court is where many of the most serious felony cases and civil lawsuits are tried. In Division One, Judge Barry Willett is up for re-election, but challenger Stuart Perlman says he needs to be replaced. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff spoke to the candidates for this commitment 2014 report. Remember the murder case involving Josh Young and Josh Gowker, the father and son accused of killing Trey's Wicker? Judge Barry Willett points to his experience on that and other high profile cases. CNN was here with a live feed, and it was the first trial that we had all the new courtroom presentation technology. So that was an added stressor to be able to make sure that we push all the right buttons to show the jury all the right evidence with the CNN camera in our face the whole time. So That high-profile case was one of many Willett has tried since he was first elected in 2000, but Stuart Perlman says Willett takes too long to issue opinions and rulings and points out that he also has side, experience. I've practiced 38 years in virtually every court in our seven-county area. Perlman says he has personally experienced Willett's inefficiency. He appeared in Judge Willett's court for a wrongful death case in 2007. Justice delayed is justice denied. We all know that. Perlman posted online videos of Willett criticizing defendants whose pants were sagging. Willett doesn't apologize for that. He says people should be dressed appropriately for court. And he doesn't dispute that he takes time in deciding a case. I'm not about being in a hurry. I'm about doing it right. Willett was ranked highly by attorneys in the 2014 Louisville Bar Association Judicial Candidate Poll. Many attorneys said they couldn't rate Perlman because they didn't know him, but that's not unusual for this poll. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.